I am uh, Desmond Cole, and I am the project coordinator of the Ivo Toronto campaign. We're here tonight at uh, Witchwood, Bar Witchwood Barns uh, for a community meeting to talk about the campaign, uh, to give residents in this community an opportunity to come out, learn more about the idea of permanent voting, permanent residents voting in our municipal elections. And uh, we have uh, a wonderful crowd and a good discussion going on tonight. So. Uh, I just want to say to anybody who's watching this that uh, we want this to happen in communities all over the city. We want people to take the time to really discuss this issue. There are people here tonight who agree and disagree with the idea of permanent residents voting in our municipal elections. And we welcome all views uh, to come to the table and to just be a community as we are tonight and get together and talk about something constructive. So um, if you would like to get involved in the campaign, if you would like to host a meeting like this one in your community and see how you can help us out in promoting this discussion, I hope that you'll get in touch with us at ivotoronto.org or on Facebook. I think this was a great event tonight. I'm in favor of almost anything that increases public participation in, in civic matters. Uh, Part of the reason I feel this way is because I think democracies are a little more fragile than we tend to believe them to be, particularly in North America. We tend to think it's just always going to be this way, but I'm a student of history and I think democracies can come and go, and when they go, things can be really terrible. So the more we do to shore up our democracy and get people really engaged in it, and frankly, just enjoying it, uh, the better. So, kudos to people who arranged this, and I hope there'll be more of the same in the future. My personal view about the I Vote Toronto campaign is that it should be an I Vote Canada campaign. That basically anybody who is paying taxes should have some form of representation. So, I say not just municipal voting rights, but provincial and federal voting rights for everyone who is a resident. Just to do with the. Uh the voting event, where I think the whole thing is basically uh, a no-brainer to me. Obviously, anybody who lives in the city and is participating in the city should have a right to vote for their representation in the city. And therefore, this is something that we should put in place and as quickly as possible. Let's get on with it. Hi, my name is Gary Ganage. I just uh, want to endorse the notion of giving the vote to uh, individuals that aren't necessarily citizens of Canada. Uh, one, one of the concepts that we were thinking about of how important it is that our schools in Toronto are so diverse, yet the children go home knowing more about civic engagement than their parents. And wouldn't it be wonderful if their parents could vote for the school board trustee, given that those are the people that shape the curriculum in our schools. Our schools would be that much more diverse, both in policy and the types of things the kids are learning. We just had a great evening talking about I Vote uh, Toronto, which is our way of saying that we need to, we need to involve the 250,000 residents of the City of Toronto who are not yet citizens, but who we want to become citizens, who we want to be more actively engaged in the life of the city. We think, I think, that by getting them more involved, they will become more active participants. It will help the cultural life of our city, it will help the business life of our city, the economic development of our city, and make us more of the global community that we are trying to be. I vote Toronto is about voting, but it's really about social inclusion. It's about making sure that all the assets, the human assets that we have in the city are well used.